what's up guys we are back today with another episode of heavy rain uh, if you haven't seen either of the first two episodes definitely make sure you go check those out links in the description below uh, last episode we learned a little bit more about what life has been like for us since the incident two years ago um, we're, seems like we're divorced and Sean comes and visits us every now and then doesn't really enjoy hanging out with us we're pretty depressed after uh, losing our son Jason and uh, so the way it ended was we kind of blacked out after putting our son to bed and then we woke up in the middle of the street with like some origami in our hand and we learned about the origami killer from the newspaper so now we kind of rolled up in this car to this motel not really sure what's going on we haven't met this guy yet so interested to see what's going to happen here hopefully the game starts to kind of pick up and pace here from here on out it's kind of a scummy place. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. What did you see on the the paper there? It said the Oregon oh, killer seven kills. That Lauren Winter. Third floor. That's last uh, floor on that's the what left, the newspaper the we saw before corridor. too. But I wonder how Lauren Winter plays into this. I don't think that was our wife. I can't remember what her name was, but I don't I don't think so. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. Clients, huh? It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Alright. Fine by me. So that's what Lauren does for a living. Or a side hustle. It kinda seems like it's a living because. Put your money this... on the table. You got oh, exactly looks like it's her appointment. Rings, it's over, okay? This is kind of awkward. Why am I here? You should take your clothes off. We ain't gone all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? Okay. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Okay, not a the cop. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. Johnny? I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free I'm as we speak. I'm not Johnny, right? He'll That's kill not again my guy. If he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Okay. Let's be compassionate. I understand, I didn't Lauren. Really read the options last I know time. what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Um, my bad. I did not do that very well. Um, that's why I am not a private investigator. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Can I take my money back? I didn't get a full ten minutes, this is trash. It's kind of a sad place. This whole place is sad. Oh. Oh my god, what happened? What is going on? Um. Pocket. Pocket. Inhaler. Oh. 
boy. Lauren. <sighs> Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Jeez. I've never had like an asthma attack Sorry, before, Belle, but, but I really it's kind of crazy how that just that. happens all of a sudden. Yep, that's unwanted company. We're going in. What do you want, asshole? <clears throat> Lauren, you're, is everything all right? You're uh, not the nicest guy. She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Oh God. You again? Oh, I missed that one. Oh. oh, get him. Come on, Troy, bring it. I mean, I'm trying to like fight my cat at the same time right now. Oh, shoot. I hit R2, not R1. I think I think we got the cutscene. See you again, asshole. Yeah, bring it on, Troy. Are you all right? We just kind of destroyed your house. Better my him, bad. I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Peace Shelby. Out. Yeah. Thanks. Can, could you answer some of my questions now? Like, come on. Oh, Ungrateful. Oh. oh man, I really got beat up. There's been another murder. It's kind of what my guess is. What is going on? What was that? The controller is vibrating with the guy's hand. And like, what was that vial? This guy's new. We haven't met this guy yet. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Norman Jaden. Got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. So we need to find Lieutenant Blake. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 Whoa. It's kind of cool. Where's the glove? Oh, 
Oh no, I definitely want those on. Shoot, how do I put them back on? Oh, this is cool. Okay. What did I just do? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Over yonder. Thanks. So many police officers here. They're all just kind of wandering around. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Anyone else just kind of see my like, like, glasses rain, floating around? If you're looking for and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself, thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? I don't know where we're going. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances huh. are he was drowned, like the others. Drowned? Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. <laughs> Bless you. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. You're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground if we're not in the FBI. No, uh, no, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. I gotta put my fancy glasses back on. Hey, Jade, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? On the same team now. Kind of awkward, right? Like, oh, there's something right here. What is this? That's so cool how it shows me. Harry, come. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Is my question. Oh, over here, I'm assuming. Okay. Gotta go around the lights. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. His back. Orchid was placed on the victim's chest. An orchid. Interesting. Origami in the hand. A small origami figure in the right hand. 
Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. Jeremy See Bowles. reference file. Oh, that's kind of His cool. face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. I think I found everything. What is, uh... This over here. Shoot, get down. Ari comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Oh, we're in Las Vegas. I didn't I don't know if we've been told that yet. I don't really know like where there's anything else to really do. from the flower left on the body. Huh. So this like shows me the path that the orchid took. This technology is so cool. You guys think there's anything else around here? Everybody has come over here and the police officers, right? So footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay, let's follow this then. Right? So they came from this way. The oh, okay. Mary coming. Traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Oh, we are learning so much. Yes, we are going up here. Let's go. Oh! Careful. <laughs> so we're not we're not going up there. Two at the top. Oh my god. How much more does I have to do? Oh. Am I gonna like slide back down? More clues. Lead us right back to the killer. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay. Car tracks. Right? Very kind. 
tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. You have seen all there is to see. Oh! Okay. So I go home now? Sucks. <laughs> Try again. Ah, I don't honestly know how I did that the first time. I was pretty impressed. Alright, will you take this stuff off? We're done with this. We will uh, head home now. So we got some information off the body. We figured out how he got into this area. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'll leave with you. I'm leaving too. Tell you all about what we saw. Why is he gonna walk so slow? Oh, okay. I was like, how- why can I not get under this? Oh no, where'd he go? Oh. I forgot we drove our own car here. this oh what is it that's definitely a bad Don't think oh. Ethan give me the first idea that pops into your head okay okay it's a bat a bat that is a wolf a wolf's head I saw a crab, a crab. I saw death, death. Death. Oh, that's a little weird. Oh, what is this? Ego. I'm trying to like feel better. Like I've been so like sad since my son's death. I have death. the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. I feel responsible. It's my the fault kid Jason died, is man. dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. You can keep, like, walking it around. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. Oh, it's death. just to sit down. It's awkward. How is Sean? I know he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. This is so sad. Not even for your son, Sean. I could Jason was Jason. all that matters. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Oh, that's creepy. I sometimes have these blackouts. 
times when I don't know what I'm doing. Definitely good information for him to have. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. Oh. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. No wonder I'm in some fancy, like, psychiatrist That's guys. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. That's the first we've heard about the coma. It's crazy. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I, I don't mean, would exactly he get hit by a car? Doctor. Oh. So sad. Um, but I'm gonna end it here. Hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. That way you can help support the channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of Heavy Rain. I'm enjoying the game. It's a very plot driven kind of game so definitely make sure you keep staying up to date with all the episodes and see what happens next. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys on the next video.